Greetings, Paddington the Bear. Welcome back to Paris. We are in the absolutely What's astonishing Hello? Assassin's Temple, or headquarter at least. And, uh, aha, birth, childhood, childhood 2. When he's an adult, when he dies. Does he die now? Maybe I should try to do a leap of faith here. Or is it a leap of faith? Not quite certain, to be honest. But uh, that is besides the point. In this video, I thought to mention something I've mentioned before. And that is that Assassin's Creed Origins is a far superior game to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And for those of you who don't know, I uh, made Let's Plays on Assassin's Creed Odyssey earlier in the year and late uh, last year. Uh, but now I need to concentrate so we don't die this uh, horrible place. Go on, Arno. Brilliant. Oh! Right. And I am still checking myself whenever I want to say that something's epic. As I said in the last episode, that um, yeah, I need to broaden the vocabulary. Alright, Dudonk, and off we go. Father, look out! Yes! Father, look out. And the assassin there is actually Shay Cormac, if I'm not uh, mistaken. For those of you who have played the predecessor to this game, Assassin's Creed Rogue, a very good game, in my humble opinion. So, aha, right, uh, I wasn't aware that we would actually have to run here, but uh, I suppose it's it's on. Um, yeah, as I was going to say, I'm checking in from a autumn cozy Sweden, um, with a lot of rain and wind, and uh, yeah, generally speaking, autumn feels quite nice indeed. I thought I was supposed to die there. Um, now let's see. We'll try to. Yes, okay, here we are. Um, no, don't kill the poor man. What are you doing? This reminds me a bit of Batman. The first Batman of Christopher Nolan's trilogy. Whenever I refer to Batman, it's always his trilogy. I am not familiar with Batman outside of uh, the trilogy. So, um, yeah, just a reference there. Now, let's see, can we... Oh, there is some sort of mad cunt. Can we kill him, perhaps? I do think we can. Hello, mate. Player desynchronized. Oh, that... Um that was a shameful display, but uh, now I know exactly what we have to do. We have to kill the assassin without being caught, without being detected. So I suppose we'll just go through here and get at the lad from behind. There we are. Hello, mate. How are we today? Boom. 
I had to do it to him. Cool outfit, by the way. The assassin bra that we just slew would be noise, mate, if we could get his dress and have for ourselves. Initiation ritual is complete. These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, the sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. All right, noise. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Dergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. All right, mate. Good choice. Let's Welcome do it. To the assassins, initiate. I would have preferred to be a Templar, of course, but I guess we'll have to progress in the storyline and this particular let's play. And yes, as Blade Strikes commented on the last video, it's a bit immersive, immersion breaking the demographics of the um, assassin the masters there. It was theorized that human DNA worked but oh well. Triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor James of James Watson, helix. a true hero Today, of truth. You know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? 
It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for the confidence you place in me. Go to the next sequence. Now, finally, we're back in good old beautiful Paris. We see the revolutionary mob there. Full of degenerates. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. All right, cool. I see. One last I see. Thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. Right. Now, let us get back to the story. And this garment and this color combination, blue, red, white, absolutely aesthetic. Uh, that is my fashion take for the day. That being said, uh, we can kill that guy if we want, but um, yeah, we can try. Uh, we're going to the exclamation mark anyway, so we might as well try to catch him. He's running in the same direction, so so why not? Let's try to intercept the bastard. Boom. I had to do it. I'm not quite sure what he had done, but um, I think he was some sort of revolutionary, and we are a loyal subject to the crown, is, um, is what we are. Very fascinating subject, the French Revolution. Uh, and I have gotten a few questions about my thoughts about it, but um, I will not make a separate video yet, because I do need to read up a bit more on it. Uh, of course, some uh, bad things uh, that can be traced to the French Revolution, no doubt. Uh, but that will have to be for a separate video. Graduation, play. What's the mission? The mission... Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. I think at this stage he would give that older guy a punch right in the face. That is what I would do if someone repeatedly called me a piss pot. Um, most indecent behavior in, uh, in all actuality. Let us kill this, uh, this bastard here. And you have to excuse my my noobishness here if I, if I don't get this. Go on then, kill him. Boom, there we are. Cover kills. Uh -huh. Aha, that's not a god at all. Can get this this Paddington at least. Hello, mate. Boom. Okay, I failed the... No, wait. And then I have to sabotage the spell, so they can't call for... ...reinforcements. Right, there we are. The noise, and there we have some sort of... Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation? What about the priest? You'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the weapon ready. 
Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When <laughs> I... Cretin? Murder! Murder! Bastards always have bodyguards. Well... Boom. Next time do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Patience. We have to steal something here. Loot. Come on. Council's waiting for our. Alright, Belek. Smoke bomb. Press four and then press F. Alright, let's do it. Boom. I won't give up! No, perhaps I can't, but I can out outclimb you, I suppose. No, get in. Yes, there we are. Boom, boom, boom. Time to wear your cape. Hold F and release. Okay. I suppose these are revolutionaries. That's why I elected to to kill them instead of just running. And also, of course, because Belek did it. So I suppose that's what you had to do. Boom. That's a clean move. Oh, that's a lot of... A lot of Laddingtons. Stop them. Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pace Pop. Well, there's a cheery thought. <laughs> I suppose this is the extremists. So, in red, good color for extremism. Uh, they harass the population and are paid by George Soros. Well, or some similar character, uh, but 200 years back in time. I suppose it reminds a bit of Antifa or similar degenerates. Uh, a general nuisance who are mainly out to harass old people and uh, people in general. True vermin. And we are, of course, supporters of Jean-Marie Le Pen. Boom, that was a high jump. Um, I think Arno is a huge supporter. Uh, but maybe that's just me. Uh, and wishful thinking. I have no idea. But um, trying not to strain your heart. Alright, go in then. Go in, mate. Du -du -dun. Boom, that's a that's a clean jump right there. Again, I get extremely motivated to train some parkour. Then of course what I will actually train after having played such a game is either go to the Temple of Iron or go and uh, train some MMA or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But as long as you get some motivation at least, it is all good. And I will promise myself to try to do some parkour at some stage at least. Maybe in the spring or even now in the autumn, if I find somewhere suitable to do it. Then again, I am a bit, a bit on the big side to do these sort of things. But um, but anyway, go on, mate. Let's escape this place. Go to Café Théâtre. I'm not sure in the least how you actually. Uh, pronounce Café Théâtre. I just try to sound French and hope for the best. Now, my dear subscribing tons and assassin tons, now is the time to 
admire this fine architecture, these fine sculptures, and and um, think about the glories of the future. So what happens if we next? manage to win the culture war, then we can create we beauty again instead of modernist here. abominations. Hello, mates. How are you today? Boom. I am absolutely serious. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Very satisfying to my soul to see. And here's the painting again. Didn't we see it in another place in this headquarter? Alexander and Hephaestion. And here we have some cool books. I wonder if they have Dauntless by yours truly there. Uh, no, all joking aside. Here we are. Customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. He has a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Sivert to escape. Sivert was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent Charles Gabriel Sivert. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. Right, let's do it. Let's go to good old Notre Dame and uh, have a look at it. Um, real tragedy. What happened with um, with the fire earlier this year? I didn't cover it in a video. Um, I just mentioned it in a in an Instagram post uh, because I didn't really have much to say, except that yeah, it's a true tragedy. Uh, what happened? And um, the fun thing, or not fun in the least, the tragic thing. Is that is that in France they are demolishing churches in a quite gruesome way, and you don't have to love churches, you don't have to love Christianity or Catholicism or anything like that, but you can also view it as an attack upon European or French culture, uh, or is an attack upon beauty, an attack upon beautiful buildings and for me when I see uh, these bulldozers coming in to dismantle old churches it um, yeah it pains me to see so uh, if you got sad at what happened with Notre Dame it's not the only uh, church to uh, to have been destructed and I don't want to blackpill anyone by saying this but I just thought to raise everyone's attention to the fact that it is going on. Um, a lot of churches in France are being demolished because of modernistic reasons, I suppose. Hello, Belek. I don't like you, but I will work with you. What's our plan? Our plan. You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. 
Where the hell was Ducheneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Where is she? Good. Tell Sivert. I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best. Assassin. Such beauty. Yes, let's do it. Let's assassinate this heretic. So, okay, we had some different opportunities to, um, to do. I suppose we can... Um, can uh, take care of this guy. We can see if we can steal it directly or if we have to kill him. I had to do it to you, mate. It's nothing personal. I had to do it for the greatness of the Templar Order. Aha, I could actually steal it. Maybe I should just have stolen it. Oh well, he um, I'm sure he was a horrible person, so... Notre Dame. Hmm, there's something fun here. We have to go in and investigate what is going on here. Aha! The Cult of Baphomet. Sounds cool. But uh, we have a mission at hand. And... Um, maybe we can just climb up here somewhere. It could be fun to explore the Notre Dame. And I hope I pronounce that correctly. I have no idea. French isn't my my strong suit, even though it's a very beautiful language, of course. And if I play this game again, which I probably will sometime in the future, I will be sure to do it in French instead of English. Just that I wasn't aware of the fact that you could actually play it in French until... Well, two episodes ago, I suppose, when one of you was kind enough as to point it out to me. Hello. Hello, mate. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He said I could speak with him, but he... Could you vous bénis? Merci, mon ami. Okay, let's... Um, aha, we can go in this door, perhaps. And we have a nice view. Let's admire the view here before we go in. Boom. Absolutely beautiful, if anything. Now let us illuminate this guy to the primordial truth. Here comes the assassin of righteousness. I hope at least we're on... Uh... Oh, wait, what is this? Aha, right, okay. Die, unbeliever. Right. There we are. Uh, a bit noobish of me. I thought I could kill him directly. But anyway. Assassinations must be performed with a hidden blade. Right, let's... Um, let's try this. And uh, it would be nice, of course, if I could do this in during the first attempt. Why can't I assassinate him now? Ah, <laughs> no! Oh, I missed him. A 
I was supposed to jump at this particular Paddington. Oh. I will try again. Alright, let us try this um, again. See if we can do something better this time. So basically, we want to isolate this guy from his mates so we can... Move. Out of my way. <laughs> One side. Aha. Uh -huh. I missed the opportunity, I suppose. Unless, of course, we can do it here. Go on then, Arno. Boom, there we are. That felt good. Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. Who's in there? Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. The King of Beggars. How intriguing. The intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. Well, what's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? You're all right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. See there! Come away! All right, there we are. Now we just have to get away from this uh, place as quickly as possible. Not quite certain where to go exactly but I'm sure we can we can find somewhere and now my daughter has woken up as well so I suppose this will have to be the end of the episode when I uh, manage to get out so that is uh, what we'll do I suppose aha that was a, a door but we can't can't access it um, I suppose we can just run back here somewhere or not no you must escape the area um, but I will do the following that I will actually leave you here and uh, wish you all a good rest of your evening or day and I will see you in the next episode XOXO boom